So how long are you over there anyway? In England? About six weeks. Absolute shithole. Do you think couldn't hack you any after all? Couldn't hack him tell me I'm Irish, calling me Paddy and all. What are you Irish? I mean, like, you're more Irish than English. I'm more British than the English. What to them? We're all Irish. We're all British. I will fuck. I can't believe you've me in the non run already. Needs must, Megan. Cupboards are bird grills. Oh, I've ride him. You probably get drunk and end up with your man, Ray Mears. And if I fit, I don't know. See, I feel Sister Mary fabulous. Body length black makes my curves pop. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So, six weeks, did you much shagging? Got about 14 and a half. Ah! Well, 14. So you want him to finish faster than you see him bolt, so he was the half. 14 in six weeks? I know. All right, sister. I was on for like a three a week average, but then I got flu in week five. Mmm, flu sex. Mm. Here, you want to know what's mental? 14 dicks in six weeks. All right, fair enough. So why'd you pick a shop in? Bastard sell single sex to kids. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Good morning. I have come to speak with you about the saving word of... Sweet Jesus. Exactly. Now, don't tell me you've not the time to listen. Sure doesn't Jesus always have the time to listen to you. If I listen, will you buy something? <laughs> yeah. If I may. What am I like? Here we go. <clears throat> the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Sorry, sister. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the, the weak through the valley of darkness. It's not lying out of Pulp Fiction. And I will strike down upon thee with great the vengeance fuck? and furious anger. So as you would attempt to poison my brothers, and you will know my name is the Lord when... Stop your rotten weak heart! Hey, my vengeance on. Right. Choke! You absolute witch! It's John. John, the news agent. I'm not going to be able to. I know, but I've been robbed, Jimmy. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. See you then. I'm telling you, it was the nun. What did she take? She took all my tins of beans, peas, she took pasties, pot noodles, and butter beans. Who steals butter beans? She's a psycho. What do you want me to do? Nick up a couple of Uyghurs for knocking off some canned veg. Wise up, John. They emptied the till as well. There's hundreds in there. That was my takings for last night and this morning, Jimmy. You sure it was a nun? Yeah, 100%. She left this wee prayer card with Jesus smoking a big bifter on it. Ha. <laughs> she could just be some nut. No, it was her and the runner. The new CCTV caught them arriving in a car together. All right. Did you get the number plate? So, you're going to be short this week. See that you're along next week. That didn't come out right. I mean, I want the extra next week. Extra length? No, extra money. I want extra money next week, fuck's sake. Mick, here, see if you can trace this piece of shit. No problem. Is he staying here? Are you looking smack? Girls! Now, John, when it comes to this sort of stuff, Mick, here's the man you want on the job. I'll text the address that's registered to. You're welcome, ball bag. Walked down that one, didn't you? Okay, I didn't 
know you'd be home. Your jacket's dirty? No, I did this on purpose. I was going to the door to get reassessed and I thought it might make me look a wee bit more needy. Didn't quite work out though. Ah well, money never broke me nor made me, eh? Here, play along with us. All right. Here, maybe you could settle something for us, Mrs. Very Neat. We were talking about who's better looking. Oh, it's definitely you, Megan. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> no, not us. Fred from First Dates or Gordon Ramsay. But again, thanks. Oh, I don't know. Fred looks like he'd be a more gentle lover. Mm -hmm. Mummy, it's not even dark outside. God, don't be such a proud Paula. Your daddy's been dead five years. These conversations are all I have. So you were saying? Thank you, Megan. He looks like he'd be more caring. But Gordon will make you a lovely breakfast the next morning. <laughs> Time's up. Uh, I got a four. Ha, five. What'd you get, Paula? Nine. Follies. I've only been eight. All right, smart arse. Pause that. What's your nine? Liberated. Jesus, that's some serious game. Polly, you should go on this. Shine will good at the maths. I could train you. It'd be like when John Candy taught your man from the Like a Prayer video to drive the bobsleigh. Kurt Runnels. No, Madonna. Like a prayer. <sighs> Jesus. I'm not going on count down. You don't even know anything. Melania Grump and Ice. <laughs> I get it. More like Forrest Grump and Ice. <laughs> oh, Johnny. I suck at this. <laughs> Johnny. Your mommy home? Annie. Is Annie here? Mommy, there's a man here for you. I'm sure it is. Tell me again, Lang. Ho! Oh my God. Oh my God. Sorry, he just barged in. Put the kettle on, Mick. I, Mick, put the kettle on, draw milk. No oh, thanks, I'm intolerant. Unless you're some uh, pressed almond stuff. Fresh out. Like if somebody tell me where the fuck this is. My name is Jimmy. <laughs> As we call we lads Packers. Well, he seemed too Protestant around here. Well, judging by your mummy's face and the wee nun's mug here, they know exactly who I am. God, Paula! Jimmy McFadden is in my living room waiting on tea. What have you done this time? Nothing. Sit down. Come on now, Paula. Or I'm gonna have to tell Mick to get nasty. Does anybody want a couple of custard creams or tea? No. I'm taking two. Somebody better start talking. You're awful quiet. Me? It was your idea. But you don't want to talk at all. Jesus Christ! Now we're getting somewhere. Look, see whatever it is, give him it back. They didn't take anything off me. They wouldn't be that thick, would they? Well, they are thick as... Funny shot sentence. I was going to say thick as thieves, but I should have said thick as pig shit. Now, what have we got here? I want for you. That's you really good. That's you, yeah, with that's on it. There you go, we, we brought it strong, you said, didn't you? Yeah. Right, thank you. Yeah. That's you, Jimmy, in the middle there. Good one. Good one. He's awful good. Terrible nice fella, I remember. Sorry to barge in like this, Mrs. Rooney, but, you know. So, you were going to tell us what you got this morning? All right, fine. What was it, Megan? About eight pot noodles, beans, bread, soda, potato waffles, crisps, and a tin of butter beans, but that was an accident. Very carb heavy. Fuck up. Enough. I don't care about the food. What else did you take? Apart from the food, nothing. Honest to God, Mr. McFadden, I never took anything else. No way I did. Two bottles of water. Yeah. What else did you take? Boss, mind yourself, oh. you're a good treasure. I know. Jesus! You're worse than the wife. Excuse me, Mrs. Rooney. I'm hypoglycemic. I sort of... Become a prick when you don't eat. Exactly. But that's nothing compared to what I become when people lie to me. Why don't you tell us what you think we'll talk, and we'll tell you if we'll have it. I can't believe you're staying. I've been doing this for three years. Back off. I do not know you. No, you don't. And say unless you come into my world, you never will. What did you take from the till? Hold on. I'll do the talk. My whole 
I don't care who you are or what you heard, but we never took nothing out of that till. We lifted food because we were starving. Her duel's just been cancelled. I'm back from feeling uni in England, and Paula is running around here like a blue arse fly trying to help us both out. But we never took a penny, so whoever told you that is full of brown. That was a wonderful speech, Megan. But the man who owns a shop says you did it, and he called me instead of the peelers. Well, he is spinning you a load of balls, well. And if he thinks he's hanging me out for stealing a couple of sodas, he can kiss my quimpies. Megan, sick at heart. Sorry, Jesus. We didn't touch the tail. The guy sells sikes to kids, and he busts up multi-packs of coke and sells them for a quid each. Mm -hmm. So I thought he could spur a few waffles. It's none of my business, Jimmy, but you think maybe the man in the shop might have something to gain by lying to you? Always protection money. Some protection. Yeah, lads. Let him get Rob Bannon on a runner. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, John, the news agent. Just taking care of that wee problem for you now. We'll find the money upstairs in one of their flats. We bitches. Aye. No bother. What are you doing? There's one thing I hate more than a thief. It's a liar. And that bastard lied to me. So, you three are gonna rob him again. Only this time, you're gonna rob him proper and rob him for me. Did you say the three of us? You could use the money. Get some soap flakes for your jacket. What if we get caught? If you get caught, it's jail or worse. If you don't do it, I'll have to break some legs and still find a way to punish John, the news agent. Sounds like choosing between getting stabbed or shot. Checking her base. But if you do it, and you do it right, then you're all square with me. And I'll make sure John, the news agent, never bothers you. Why do you keep calling him John, the news agent? Well... <clears throat> John's my brother, wee John's his son. Big John's mixed brother. Fat John is the dealer in the next street, and Johnny Big Bulls is your man for Pirates of the Caribbean. So, it's John, the news agent. We can't do this. You have to. I'm in. Sit down, it's not dead poor society. What do we have to do? We're fucked. Paula, fuck's sake, Mick. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, we sorry hanging in the bins like a wee creep. What do you want? Jimmy has a message for you here. Hold on. I don't like to misquote him, you know. He says, good job today, Paula. I don't think your mummy or the wee nuns suspected a hang. Fucking talk louder, sure. I don't think I heard you. He continues, good luck tonight. See you at the pub to settle up tomorrow. Don't be late, Jimmy. Okay, do okay. Aye. Cheers, Frat. Tell him I said we'll be there. You've a lot of anger problems, you know, you really need to sort that out. You, you ain't wanna get a mini hard to rat! You love it. Paula! Help me! I can't get this fella Clavo for loving her money! Come on! 